Good morning, everybody. This is Johnny B. And this is... This is Timo. Yeah, my little fur baby. Okay. All right. <laughs> Some people have asked about Timo, and they said they love, they love the fur baby. They love, they love Timo. So we got to put Timo in every once in a while so, so people have... Uh, um, they, can, they can see Timo. Right? Right, Boo Boo? Yeah? <laughs> He's too busy licking my hand. Okay. All right. So today is more a teaching day. <clears throat> One of the things I have noticed over the past several weeks is where people don't recognize how ideology plays a big part in to whom they like as, it doesn't matter, uh, but in this case, whom they like as an artist or they like as a musician. Every ideology is set from a ground root at home initially. How strong are the ethics and the teachings from your home? How strong are the, the religious values from home? Okay. And the religious values over the last 30 years have actually dissipated. And the reason they have dissipated uh, is mainly due to a new era and, uh, called postmodernism with several other things that I'm not going to talk about on this given particular one, with several other things that happened in the 80s and 90s that started to lead towards atheism, okay? And we have had people, I've had people on my radio show before try to tell me that an atheist is just as moral as somebody who has religious values. And I argued that point. Now, neither one of us ended up... Uh, believing in the other person's point afterwards. He was still an atheist and I was still a Christian. <clears throat> but my argument was this. In Christianity, for example, ethics and morals play a high part of who we are because we also believe in something called the fear of God. We also believe in something that there is life after death. So if you aren't a good human on earth, you're not going to have that... Um, eventual reward. Atheism doesn't believe in that. My argument was that that people who aren't raised with strong religious core values, their parameter widens. So what they perceive as good or evil may not be as strong. In other words, they will justify so much easier for their bad behavior. That is why it's easy for them to walk into a church and shoot 50 people. Doesn't matter. I ain't going anywhere anyway. After I die, I turn to dust. Doesn't matter. <coughs> As a Catholic or a Christian or a Jew or uh, any other religion, I'm not going to name them all, that has strong morals and beliefs preaches that is wrong. Okay. With atheism, atheism is the primary thing needed in order to create what we call a statist government. In other words, do not put your faith in a deity and put your faith in the state. And we'll go over that. That's also another, uh, we're, we're, now we're talking about cultural Marxism, we're talking about uh, um, taking over and things like that. Right now I just want to talk about ideologies and how we are raised with ideologies and why it is, it is imperative that our children aren't left to educators to teach our kids ethics and morals. I think many of you have seen when we leave our 
our teachings, the way we, that we believe things, up to our to up to our educators, <coughs> they that child ends up growing away from those ethics and morals that we believed in, and they veer away from it. Okay. I believe in that. It's also why I believe many of us secretly like people like this guy here, Dimash. You know, we as Dimash fans for two years, some of us one year, some of us six months, okay, some of us three months, who knows, didn't fall in love with the guy because he had a six octave range. In fact, we never called him the six octave man. That was dubbed by ABC. That was dubbed by them. We knew he had a high range. And we knew he probably had the highest range. But we liked everything about him. We, first, we liked everything about what he did musically. Then we liked the fact that he was an original and he was trying to create his own style, his own genre of music. And he was succeeding at it. You couldn't put him in a box. Was he classical? Was he opera? Was he pop? You couldn't really put him in a box. And then he sang in different languages, which really threw people off. Um, so, was he was he Eastern Asian? Was he European? Was he uh, no? Everyone wanted to put him in a box. And part of putting people in the box is to is to pull people closer to your own ideology because you're able to identify with that. That's just normal. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. But what grew many of us closer and closer to Dimash, once we started to really delve into his family, particularly his grandparents, his mother, and his father, um, you got to see how he was raised. And you saw that it felt like how many of us who are in our 50s or 60s were raised with those strong core values that we felt was lacking in today's society. We also saw that his parents weren't going to throw him to the wind for an almighty dollar. They want to see Damas succeed. Don't get me wrong, but not at all cost. They raised a good man. Was the decision 100% his to leave that show? Possibly. It could have been a split decision there. It could have been something we don't know. Like he could have went into to see his parents and they said he could have said, hey, they lied. And they may, they may have said to him, you, you got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. You don't know. We don't know. Okay. <clears throat> All I know is he has a strong sense of family and they wouldn't have let him stay in that. Mark Burnett and ABC put Demond purposely in an all-fail situation. Why? Because then Dimash would have had to turn back and then hopefully turn back to them so they could have been the, the, the devil with the open arms. Come here, my son. We'll take care of you. Don't let all those people. We will take care of you. You just signed right there. So. <laughs> you know? And Dim Dimash wasn't going to let that happen. And his family wasn't going to let that happen. They're going to do things their way. I love the fact that they're not signing... Um, like record deals with RCA and all these these music companies. He's doing it one song at a time. He's putting together his <coughs> his LP. I don't even know who it's with. It's it's probably it's probably going to be a Kazakh company, which is great. Probably, and he's organizing his concerts along the line very carefully. It's not going to be like uh, I was a Genesis fan and or, or I grew up and I listened to uh, music like Chicago or whatnot, where they would pull 
40, 40 cities. No, that's not going to be like that. He may do two, three, four concerts in a year. Who knows? I don't think he would do more than 10, let's say. In other words, it's going to be very precise. It's going to um, not take away from who he is. And he's controlling his own destiny. And that upset Hollywood. It upset Hollywood when he went on that show, sang three songs, even though they cut the living hell out of it in post-production. And even with their cutting it, people got to recognize the talent that this man has. And uh, people started turning towards him. And then he just left and pretty much left them in the dust. ABC, Burnett, the media are going to try to go after this guy. Some of these people sold their soul to the devils already. And you got to see that with RuPaul and Faith Hill. Um, I really would have loved to see the uncut, the uncut, unedited version of Dimash telling these people. Well, that was, by the way, two people wrote me and said they thought that Dimash actually went up and said things first, and then he sang. It wouldn't make sense with the things that he said, okay, or that the judges said. In other words, uh, Faith Hill said, "You don't use this as a you don't use this as a, um, a free stage, okay." Um, I first thought that was what was going to happen, but I, I also think that uh, Gia would have said something about that. She didn't say anything about that. Okay. So, and with how angry they were in the change of environment, I don't think he would have been able to present himself with them. Third, James Corden said, all right, before we go to the uh, to the American judges, meaning go to the American judges for their um, to their critique and scoring, Dimash has something to say. All right, and what was the first words out of her mouth? That was an incredible performance, which means he already performed. So um, that kind of shoots the whole theory that he went up there and said he was going to drop out, and then he performed. I don't buy that. Then why would she have said, uh, first of all, that was a great performance, okay? It doesn't make sense. So um, I'm going to say, uh, by the way, that's another thing I noticed with fans. Fans he hear things. You know, so-and-so said this, so-and-so said this, and this is why I come on, because I shoot all these in the butt. Whether And much of the reason why people hate me <laughs> is I'm... Because they may like me, and then all of a sudden I say, "Yeah, but what you're spreading is propaganda. Don't don't spread that crap." Okay, if it's not factual, don't spread it. But people do. I heard it from so and so. I heard it from my third my third cousin. I heard it. You know, shut up. Just stop it. Okay. We're not going to push pop propaganda. Okay. What we're going to do is talk about as much factual things as possible, and then we're going to relate them to our own lives. Dimash happens to be the the greatest example of how somebody with fame should treat their fame. Okay? He's perfect example of how it should be done. Okay? All right. All right, folks. I wanted to do a short video on this and let people understand that the way we think we don't think we don't think like that. We're not sitting there thinking, you know, my my ideology is this. This is why I I like Dimash. No, we don't think like that. Obviously, you know, we don't break it down into little categories and go, mm, I'm, I like Dimash for this. It's instinctive at that point. We go, I like Dimash. He fits the way I think. Okay, or I don't like Dimash. How many people didn't like Dimash because he dropped out? Oh, I changed it my mind. Now he dropped out. He could have won the money. That shows me. That tells me a lot about their personality. Tells me a lot about their ethics. 
meaning they probably could be bought off. It tells me a lot, okay? So, right? It tells you a lot. All right. I'm going to upload this one, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.